First hole done! Let's go! Welcome to part two of 14 climbing holds in a single batch. Today, I'm gonna take this thing off. As luck would have it, it is stupidly hot, which is gonna make finishing these uh, tricky. Hopefully that does also mean I can actually finish them in later into the evening. Though I was originally thinking I might try to break out the spray gun and actually spray a coat of polyurethane. Um, in lieu of that, just based on time and the fact that I'm currently cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull these guys off, finish them by hand, and then uh, paint them. So I was doing just fine, taking out some of the holds, getting them all going, pulled them off, and oh, they look nice and pretty. And then I realized I got a problem. What kind of problem could you possibly have, Austin? Well, the problem is a uh, quarter inch drill bit plus a quarter inch dowel pin means that uh, I basically had a press fit on all these, and I kind of knew that going in, which is why I ordered some other drill bits. But yeah, that has effectively me meant um, roughly half of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a little over half of them have uh, a dowel pin in them that they're not supposed to have. So I'm gonna take some pliers real quick, pull out the dowel pin, reinsert them back onto the, the waste board. Um, one pro of a waste board being made of MDF, footnote for those interested, is you don't have to give a shit. If you cut into it, it's MDF. It's it's stupidly easy to cut, no one cares, it's dirt cheap. Uh, con of having an MDF waste board is it's MDF, which means it's structural integrity is crap. And one of the issues that I have is that these dowel pins were drilled roughly, or milled rather, um, roughly half into the MDF waste board. So there's not a ton of meat below them. And when I was putting them in to try to make sure they were seated, one of them I took a dead blow hammer and and punched it a little deep. And unfortunately this one you can see over here, is a uh, is a, a wee bit deeper than the rest of them as they're intended to be so uh it's 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 not the end of the world but it's it's a thing to be to be aware of so i'm gonna pull some of these back up to their proper place or more likely for most of them pull them out of this and then reinsert them to the proper depth after that off to sanding These guys, um, we're gonna set on a mask, start playing some music, set up a time lapse, and get to sanding. Everybody's favorite part. Actually, slight change of plans. I am going to attempting to use my random orbital sander to save myself some chaos and see if perhaps this guy can do it for me, or if it's gonna end up being so stupidly strong. 20, this is about as aggressive as I need. Really. We gonna try it, and we gonna see how this one works. This one, turn it way the hell down. A little higher turn. Decent, but I don't feel like navigating both. Uh, I have an idea. Wait a minute, Austin. You mean to tell me you got a CNC machine, you ain't got yourself a belt grinder? Yep, exactly what the fuck I'm telling you. <laughs> and when your finger touches the button and you weren't ready for it, it scares the shit out of you. It's moving! Why is this thing moving? Well, it's moving there because uh, you touch the button, the dipshit. Sometimes, sometimes I amuse myself. Hey, if it works, it works, right? And, she. Yeah, that works. Works lovely. Well, here's the ghetto. Well, 
welcome back. I feel it's funny. I get that wave of like cooking show. So uh, we just placed the brownies in the oven, and uh, this is the post thing. You know, 45 minutes later, what you saw off camera, but what you just saw on camera was me going to town with my Jerry rigged orbital sander. That actually worked a treat. Uh, I was able to go through and, and get these guys nice and sanded and polished, and they feel great in the hand at this point. Well, welcome back to my cooking show, where at this stage you break out your delicious polyurethane coating of your choice and brush it on like a light oop uh oh <laughs> crusty brush interesting okay then uh once you've uh broken up your bristles you then brush it on nice and lightly just like you would a biscuit you know just like you pack that thing full of boot hair and a Pack the back side of this thing with a nice light brush of some polyurethane. One down, 16 to go. Alright, first coat done, and lo and behold, that, you know. 85 degree weather is doing just fine with this water-based polyurethane because that dried up instantly. So we're going to flip this bad boy over, paint the other side, and uh, get after it. Here's to more baking channel style stuff. Climbing holds are fresh out of the oven, and we're going to give them a quick little scuff with a 220 grit just along the uh, periphery here, so that way I can add a second coat. Hello and good morning. It is the next day, and I am going to take a quick little rub down of my beautiful looking climbing holds with some 220 grit sandpaper as I prepare for the third and final coat of poly. These things are looking absolutely gorgeous and I'm actually, I'm, I'm getting kind of giddy. Honestly, like, you know when you're a little kid and you're, you're kind of waiting on this thing, this has been such a long time coming. I honestly was having this idea about being in this exact phase almost a year ago. And so the fact that everything is kind of coming into fruition and and it's it's going as well as it's going has me just ecstatic. Next, thing, next time you will see these holds, they will be on a wall on a route that I got to set with my own climbing holds, which is just awesome. So I hope you guys are enjoying these. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.